Are you ready for Sunday school, kids? Yay! Hello. Welcome again to St. Thomas Church. We're in God's garden where our children grow in faith. My name is Bonnie. Each week after a lesson, we'll show you how to do two crafts, like this one, for example. And maybe while I'm telling you the story, see if you can figure out how this craft fits in with the lesson. Well, I have a question for you. Does anybody know what this is? Uh-huh, I see we have some girl guides in our group because this is the girl guide emblem. And actually, I know we have someone in our group because I bought some girl guide cookies from her just a little while ago and they're almost all gone. They are delicious. And does anybody know what this is? Any Boy Scouts? This is the Scouts emblem. Now, these two have the same motto. Do you know what the motto is? The motto is, be prepared. And that's what our story is about today. Be prepared. We are just now starting in our church calendar, uh, the uh, time of Advent. Advent is when we get prepared. What are we preparing for? What's coming up? We're preparing to celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. So can you think of some of the things that we do to prepare for Jesus' birth for Christmas? Right, we buy presents, of course, um, wrap presents. We do lots of really yummy baking. We decorate the house. We get the lights up outside. <clears throat> we do all kinds of really cool things to prepare for Christmas, don't we? Well, the Bible tells us that Jesus is coming back again. And part of our Advent routine should be to prepare, to remind ourselves that we have to prepare for Jesus coming back. Not just during Advent, but all year round, but we think about it especially during Advent. So how do we prepare for Jesus coming back? And when is he coming back? We don't know. Nobody knows. Only God knows when Jesus is coming back. He promised he would, but we don't know when. Even the angels don't know when Jesus is coming back. So we want to be always prepared. How do we do that? By being the sort of people that God wants us to be, doing the sorts of things that God wants us to do. So that's things like being kind, being gentle, uh, doing the things that we know we should to help other people, asking God to forgive us when we mess up because we're human, so of course we're going to mess up, but always remembering that we want to be trying to be the sort of people God has called us to be. Always remembering that we want to do the things that God has asked us to do. And so can we say a little prayer? Dear God, thank you for Advent. Thank you that it helps us to especially remember that we want to be prepared for when Jesus comes back again. Please help us to be the sort of children that you want us to be. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I promised you <clears throat> that we were going to make a little scene like this, all these lovely mountains. So I'll put this over here. And what we need, first of all, is some type of cardboard for a base. It can be square, it can be rectangular like this, it can be whatever shape you want, but something that's um, a fairly solid piece of, of uh, cardboard so that uh, you can put your mountains on here and they won't flop all over the place. So, we need that. We need some colored paper. You can cut them in different sizes so that you have different uh, sized mountains. And then you just are going to take this and make a cone, okay, like that. And then you can either staple it or you can glue it. Okay. So around like that. And of course, you're going to do a whole bunch of them. A little more glue on here. 
Oops. Okay, now then we need to cut around here so that it makes a nice base that will stand up. Okay, like that. And then to make it a little more solid, we can cut just little bits like that. And then fold these back. And then it makes a more solid base. Okay. All the way around. And you can make lots and lots of trees. So you have a, and make them all different sizes too, so that you have a nice scene like this one. Okay, now, what are we missing? We're missing the snow. So you take a piece of white paper and you can draw on it. Sort of like, like this, okay? However you think it would be uh, looking like snow-capped mountains. So you draw like that and then cut around this. If you think you can do this without even drawing it, you can just cut some ups and downs like this. Make them different sizes and shapes so that it gives your mountains a, a nice pretty shape to it. Okay, so now we do the same thing. We have to make a cone out of them. Okay, so like this. Okay, and we put the glue on. Okay, make a cone. Glue it down. And then cut the extra tail off. Here's our snow, and we put it on top of our mountain like that. And then you can glue these little pieces right here. And actually, I think I'll use this glue, it's a little easier for that part. So put a bit of glue on. Like that. Glue it on your paper. Put your snow back on. Whoops. There we go. And you can make all kinds of mountains, different sizes, different shapes, and put them all over here. And then you're going to use another piece of your hard cardboard, fold it back like this so that it will stand, and you can write on it. Go tell it on the mountain. What are we telling on the mountain? What is this? What's this all about? Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. So then we'll put a bit of blue along here. I'm going to stick it on here like this. So now you can have lots of mountains here. You could have tall ones and shorter ones and better ones and slimmer ones. You make a lovely scene like this. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. And that's what Advent is all about, getting ready for the birth of the Christ child. Here's another mountain, let's stick it on here as well. There we go, see? Okay, now we have another craft for you. Oh, 
I did forget one other thing though that you can do if you want to use a piece of uh, green cardboard, nice long slim one like this, again, fold it over so that it will stand and you can glue it on. And then you can, um, you can make trees. See, like that. You can make trees all the way along here and then you can put that in behind or in front. Uh, you can stick, whoops, lost my snow. You can stick the, uh, the trees on as well. You could um, cut it into small bits, like Let's cut these trees out. Okay. So you can make a really neat scene. You can do all kinds of things with it. Here we go. There's our trees. So you can have a lot of fun with this. You can be very, very creative. So now we're going to make a Christmas card. We're going to take okay, oh, there's my pen. Alrighty, we're going to make first of all, we're going to make a letter J. And what is that? That's a candy cane, isn't it? But if we turn it upside down, the candy cane is the letter J. I'm going to use this one because it's already cut out. The letter J. So then we can make it look like a candy cane with our stripes for our candy cane. Okay. And we take a piece of colored paper and fold it in half and we take our J and you can color this J, you can color red, make it red and white, you can do whatever you want with your candy cane. Candy canes come in a lot of different colors these days, don't they? Let's just give it a little bit of texture here. There we go. Okay. And we're going to glue it on to the front of our card. Like that. And then in the um, information that Merrily sent, there is a picture here. Oops on the other page. Sorry, there's a picture of the baby Jesus. Okay, here it is right here. And so first of all, you want to color this picture of this baby Jesus. Okay, you can color. Color the straw. And when you're finished, then Do the picture of the baby Jesus right here in the middle of your letter J, like that. And then you can write on <clears throat> whatever you would like. Open the card up and, and write a lovely message in here saying, um, how about we wish you peace. And love, because that's what Jesus brought, wasn't it, at Christmas. You can put whatever you want in here. You can, and then you have a, a lovely Christmas card, and we just, the only thing we forgot was the star. Let's put it on. Um, so you can draw a star, cut it out, um, and you can write something on here. Um, how about uh, J, 
is for Jesus. And then we want to glue that onto the front of our card as well. Again, you can be just as creative as you want to be. With, you can make every bunch of cards and every single one can be just a little bit different. There, how's that? And there's our message inside. You could put um, stickers and whatever else you want inside as well. <clears throat> and just one last little thing, one other type of card. If you want to take, if you want to make a, a Christmas tree, it's very easy. You take your sheet of paper, fold it in half, and then fold it again to make an accordion. And you open it up and you draw a Christmas tree here. So you start about an inch down from the top because we need room for our star at the top. Draw it down to where the fold is. About an inch or a little less from the bottom. Bring it across and then down for the stem of the tree. Okay, you see that? And then you're going to cut oops, just to the line of the tree out that far apart, all the way up. And just keep going to the tree. Okay, now then, <clears throat> this is the tricky part. And you could, if you wanted, you could color your tree before, uh, before you actually cut. It's easier to color before you, you cut. Now, here's what we want to do is every second one, we want to push it through and fold it that way. You see what I'm doing? Push it through and then pinch it so that it folds that way all the way through and pinch all oh, whoops that one didn't stay get back there you okay push it through and pinch all the way maybe a little bit easier if you don't make the, the cuts so close together then you don't have as many pieces <laughs> Okay, so then what happens is your tree has some Okay, it's giving me grief here. Let's pull through like that like that. There we go. So then your tree will be green. You've already colored it. I didn't color this one, but let's take this one, okay? Because it's already colored. And then you can take stickers with stars. We certainly want a star up at the top, don't we? And then you can put all kinds of things. You can put hearts or other stars. You can decorate your tree however You can use stickers, you can color it, see, you put stickers all the way through and make it really, really pretty. So, what does this tell us? These are all different ways that we remember that Jesus Christ is about to be born. We're going to remember his birth and we're going to remember that he's coming back. And we want to be ready. So what was the motto for the Girl Guides and the Boy Scouts? Be prepared. We want to be prepared. Okay, let's sing our song. Okay, this is one that I know you know. We sing it every Christmas. We sing it during the year as well, but it's a favorite. And it makes us think about our mountains that we just finished uh, uh, preparing here. So it's Go Tell It on the Mountains. I'll sing it through once, and then you sing it with me, okay? Go tell it on the mountains, over the hill and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ
Christ is born. Okay, you ready? And then we'll sing the verse, and then we'll sing the chorus again. You ready? And remember we did this go talent on the mountain? Okay, let's, let's put a little action in. Are you ready? Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching, or silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. God bless you. We'll see you next week.